Hi guys, so I recently updated my home thermostat from this old one here to the brand new Nest controller, which is this one right here. And she is a beaut. So this is my Nest controller. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can control your Nest controller from your smartphone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can control your Nest thermostat from anywhere on the planet using your smartphone. So I am in the Google Play Store. And what I'm gonna do is search for Nest. So let's go on search. Let's search for N-E-S-T. And there is a Net Thermostat mobile app. Let's click on that. So see we have the Nest app there. Let's click install. Okay, now it's installed. Now what we're gonna do is open the app. And I am now being asked to sign in with Google, so I will sign in with my personal Google account. And what we do, you just follow the instructions. Say yes, you trust Nest. So in this case, I've never used the Nest app before, so I'm going to say no to that question. I just have to continue to accept the, the, the terms of service. Now our account is set up. Now we have to set up our home. So the first thing we have to do is, let's see, so adding a new home to your Google Nest account is the first step to bringing your products together in one place. So they're gonna start by asking some questions about my home. So I'm gonna continue. Now, do you, it looks like you have homes associated with Google. Choose one to use with Nest. I am gonna use home. Now I'm gonna enter my, of course, personal details. So here I have to enter my home address and put my, put my postal code in, so I'm gonna do that now. And then here you can tell them to you know keep you updated with promotions and stuff. It's off by default, I don't need that. Uh, stay up to date on Google's hardware products. It's off by default, that's good, I don't need that. And then here's a, a monthly summary of your energy use, safety events, special offers and more for your Nest Home. I want that Nest Home report, yes please. So then we go next. I was asking me if I want to use my phone's location for home away assist. Um, and it helps your Nest products know whether you're home or away. I want to say yes for that. Okay. So it needs, needs permission to use my location. I'm going to say yes, use phone. And I'm going to say only while using the app. And they say it needs on location. This needs This feature needs always on location permissions. So... I'm going to go back here and I'm going to say allow all the time. So now it's loading. So home, I'm going to add everything activity. So I'm going to press add product now. Allow the nest to take pictures and record video while using the app. So right now I am to scan the code. Now I'm like saying to myself, what code? So if I say, help me find the code, it says choose the product that you're setting up. I'm setting up the Nest thermostat, which is right here. And it says, choose the product that you're setting up. There's the learning thermostat, there's the thermostat E, and Nest thermostat E with heat link E. So I'm gonna click on Nest learning thermostat. Now it shows you where you can find a QR code. Now the QR code is on the back of the thermostat display. So now we scan the back. So here's our Nest thermostat. And that's the QR code. I'm gonna scan it. Okay, we finished scanning. We just scanned the QR code. And now it's saying here, install and set up your thermostat. Now for most homes, this takes less than 30 minutes. We'll take you through the steps. Two, one, get to know your home's wiring. Two, remove the old thermostat and install the new one. Three, add the thermostat to a Nest account. So I already got this installed, I just realized. So we can just say already installed. So you're gonna enter the key. So follow the steps on your thermostat display to just find the entry key or check your thermostat settings. So now I've entered the entry key on our app. It should be connected now to the thermostat. So it's actually looking for me now to connect to a Wi-Fi network on my phone through the app. So I'm going to do that right now. 
So I'm going to select my home Wi-Fi network. I'm still logging in here. So it's connecting, testing, setting up the Nest network now. Adding your Nest account, which is finishing up here. Now it's just finishing, it may take a while. Now it's added to my account. So I can click next. And the way that I put this thermostat, I put it in the dining room. And you can use how to use auto schedule. So auto schedule will take a few days to learn from your adjustments and create a weekly temperature schedule. You can also make manual adjustments to the schedule by using the app or display on your thermostat. Okay, let's click next. Here now I can choose my eco temperatures. So your thermostat can automatically switch to eco temperatures to help save energy when you're away. Or you can manually select them when you're not at home. So right now I'm going to set, uh, leave it for now. I think the default, this is, um, I'm going to set it to 17, this is 16. Uh, 16 and this would be Celsius. So say next. Which mode, uh, which, can choose which mode your thermostat should use today. It will be heating. And it says you've now finished setup. Follow me. Double check the two sides there. Oh, here we have the Google display. Just starting it up here. Just let it boot up. Google's booting up. I'm just going to keep this here so you can just see them side by side. Updating software. Thermostat is restarting. Back in a bit. It's a nice message. Reassuring. It's good that you do get updates, know, know what's happening, because sometimes if you just see a light on, you don't know, is this thing working? Is it, has it crashed? But it's good that Google gives you updates and, and gives you notifications of what's going on with the device while it's rebooting. So our Nest is set up and it shows a temperature of 19 degrees. And I just put my phone next to it and it actually does show dining room 19 degrees. So here's the fun part. I'm not touching the nest, I'm just touching my phone. Click on this app here. I'm gonna change the temperature to 22. And as you can see, the nest has increased to 22. I can then move it to 25 degrees because I want it to feel like the tropics. Give it a couple seconds, it's increased to 25. And it shows you at the top the time it will get to 25 degrees Celsius in 50 minutes. And I can hear the, in the house, I can hear the fan and the heater turn on. I can hear it going on in the basement. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up uh, remote connectivity to your Nest thermostat uh, using the Nest app, right? So it's pretty cool. So I can be in Timbuktu or Hong Kong and I can see what the temperature is in my home and I can adjust that temperature using the Nest app. So right now, because I want to save electricity, I'm going to bring it back down to 17 degrees because I want to save on energy. And there you go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our how-to video on how to set up your Nest thermostat with the mobile app in your home. Bye-bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.